Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elsa. I'm currently nine months pregnant and as you can see from the title of this video, we are gonna be walking through basically like all the things I bought for baby before baby is born. Um, so I can't really give a review or anything like that, but I can just like show you the cute things that I've been buying. But most importantly, the prices that I've been finding for a lot of these baby items, I try to get everything on sale or like majorly discounted because baby clothes can get super pricey. So I'm excited to show you everything that I bought. I am gonna have all the links and all of that in my link tree or my shop my, I should say. So that's gonna be down there. Everything will be linked and hopefully a lot of these items are still on sale. So let's start with the most used items i would say for a baby and that is obviously onesies so i bought a lot of onesies i have a lot more but we're actually going to start with where these onesies are from so gap baby has been my complete lifesaver um during this pregnancy when like i'm just like prepping for the baby to come and that is because they have really cute baby clothes and they have really good sales I'm going to walk you through the onesies that I liked, why I like them, and then obviously the color schemes and everything. I am having a baby boy, so all of these are going to be baby boy themed. And everything that I purchased was either discounted or on sale or was like a deal two for one. Like I just kept checking the app to see what deals Gap Baby was having and like they were having deals throughout honestly my entire pregnancy. So let me walk through the onesies that I had purchased. Okay, number one, I'm gonna put a picture up here on the screen, but these are the, I believe I have it written down. Give me one moment. BB First Favorites Organic Cloud Cotton Footed One Pieces. Okay, so these are the onesies that I bought most of. And the reason why I liked these onesies in particular is because they have the zip feature. So you can zip from the top, but you can also zip from the bottom which i was told is super convenient when you're diaper changing and things like that because newborns don't like to be undressed um or dressed really so and they get pretty like fussy when you are changing them so to have this zipper feature is apparently life-changing so i tried to find onesies that had that feature these ones are really cute i got blue obviously we also got some greens really cute and then i got a ton in this light beige color let me show you yes like this so like i said they all have the zipper detail and then they have a little button clasp here they're footed onesies they also have the glove feature so you can like flip it over and then the hands are covered they have newborn sizes zero to three three to six and i believe six to nine i did buy the newborn sizes and the zero to three and then i did buy just like a few of the three to six sizes just in case i really love them and you know i wanted them for when he's a little bit older. So these range anywhere between $10 to around $15. And I believe the original price is, yes, $29.95. So these are originally $30 and I tried getting all of them for about 10. Some of them were like eight or nine, depending on the day, depending on the deal. So I really stocked up. I got a ton, especially in this beige color because as you can tell, I'm just like a sad beige mom. But anyways. I love these onesies um, for now at least they wash really well they look really cute online the colors are a little off but in person like if you can tell these are like such pretty boy in my opinion boy colors so really really like these I also from baby gap got some printed onesies which <sighs> So hard to find cute onesies that are printed honestly prints are just a little tacky in my opinion but i found this bare one and i think i need to pick it up in more sizes i'll put another photo of course on the screen but this one is so cute it has gray and blue baby bears on it and then this is in the size zero to three months and same idea it is footed and then it has the flip over 
mitts and things so these are so cute and i am so excited to see little baby boy wear these because i think they're just like the cutest little things so yes those are the onesies that i got from baby gap and i personally highly highly recommend okay next from gap is not a onesie but it's actually an outfit and i thought this was the cutest thing ever it is the let me get the name for you it is the baby sherpa outfit set and it is a $50 set for a newborn, but I got it on sale for $15. And it's basically just these Sherpa pants with a Sherpa matching sweatshirt, and it has brown baby bears all over it. And this is so cute. If you are going to have a winter baby Sherpa and just like, anything like wool anything that looks cozy is just going to be so cute for baby especially with like a cute little beanie so this obviously in my opinion i would not spend 50 dollars on an outfit like this even though it is very cute but 15 dollars i can you know justify so this is also something that gap does really well and that's their matching set so highly recommend you check out baby gap for that too and i just i love this set with like little uggs and like a little beanie it's just so cute so yeah happy about this one as for gap i got another two-piece set and i love that they come together like i did not have to buy it separately um and this is the okay well it just says two piece set here and this was also fifty dollars i believe i got this on sale for thirty dollars so this one was a little bit more expensive and i believe it's because it's cashmere and it's a little fancier in my opinion than like the other outfits that i've been buying this is for size zero to three months it says seven pounds to twelve pounds so it is so cute in this navy blue color. It has the little teddy bear here. This I just thought was good to have an option if I need the baby dressed up for a photo or for an outing or whatever it is and I don't want the baby to be in his PJ. So I got this cute little outfit. I also just like love navy blue rather than just like blue, um, especially for winter babies. So I think it's so cute. So Gap really smashed it with this one. Like I personally would wear a suit that looked like this and $30 is the price that I spent. Yes, it is a little bit pricey, but I was told that it's good to have some cute outfits for your newborn baby. Like, like I said, just for like an outing or like pictures or something like that. But majority of the time they do wear onesies. So definitely don't go overboard with the cute clothes. But if you do find something that just like fits your vibe and is on sale, I would recommend this because this is so cute. I do believe it's out of stock right now on the website because I did check before this video, but Hopefully it comes back in stock. So this is the next set that I got from Gap. Next baby store we're gonna touch on is Old Navy. And I didn't know this, but apparently Gap, Old Navy, and Banana Republic are all owned by the same company. So when I'm scrolling on the Gap app for a lot of the baby clothes, I do see a lot of the Old Navy sales and then also what Banana Republic has to offer in their baby section too. So I did shop on Old Navy and I think Old Navy might be my second favorite right under Baby Gap because they just had the cutest things and I'm gonna show you what I purchased. We did go for the basic ribbed onesie. So similar to Gap Baby, rib detailing, footed, also has the mitten feature and their double zip. So you can zip from the bottom and you can zip from the top. They don't have that button feature that the Gap ones had, but other than that, they're pretty much identical. I believe these ones were also around $10 and they were originally around 20. I believe I got a bunch of the zero to three months because I wasn't so sure. Like obviously I don't know the baby size yet, so I guess we'll see, but he'll eventually fit into these um, at some point. So zero to three months. And I really like the navy blue. Like I said before, navy blue is just like a really good baby boy winter color in my opinion. So picked up some of these. I also from Old Navy got this like typical classic i would say baby boy color this like really light baby blue this is a newborn size it says up to seven pounds so this might not even fit but in the case that baby does fit in this in the first few days of its life this is really cute same idea it's footed it has the hand thing that you can flip over and this color's cute it's not as cute as the navy blue but this will do and for like nine or ten dollars i think it's worth it so yes those are the onesies from old navy 
Next from Old Navy, I was actually looking for pants just in case I wanted to dress the baby up in like a sweater or if I was just like not feeling like putting on a onesie. So I got these cute little pants from Old Navy for I believe $5. So I think the original price was around 10 or 15 and they were having uh, a discount obviously. So I got it for like $4.99. So I got the navy blue colors and I believe they're unisex. So navy blue and then I also got them in cream to go with those pants i just thought this was the cutest little thing this might have been around 15 dollars, and i know for a fact it was discounted from like 30 or 35 this is so cute i feel like i myself have sweaters like this my husband has a sweater like this so i just thought it'd be cute for the baby to have a sweater like this and then obviously you would just pair it with the pants like that and then you can obviously do the navy blue ones too so really cute from old navy old navy honestly kills it with baby stuff they also have sets or packs i should say so you can get like three or four of the zip up footy pajamas for a discounted price if you buy them in packs i personally am very specific with the color scheme of my baby's wardrobe so the packs did not work for me but if you're a little bit more flexible they do have really good pricings on their like onesie packs so definitely check that out and they have very 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 cute baby girl colors just by the way so yes definitely check out old navy because i think they are killing it okay so like i said banana republic is one of those stores that is under the same company i guess as gap and old navy so i did browse through banana republic which by the way is so expensive even their baby items are just like ridiculous ridiculously priced however i did get all of these on sale so I'm excited to show you what I got and I actually have this written down. So these are the essential footed one pieces for baby. Okay, so these onesies are originally $50, which is absolutely nuts, but they are so cute. So I got them on sale each for $15, which still is a lot of money for a onesie. So I didn't, you know, go overboard, but I did get, I think, six. I got three in the white and then three in the green. So let me show you quickly. And as you can see, it's just this like ivory color onesie, footed obviously, same details as the Gap Baby and Old Navy with the double zip. And it has these like baby elephants on it and I thought it was so sweet. These have a much more thick texture and feeling than the Gap Baby and the Old Navy, so. I had thought since it is going to be a winter baby, having, you know, thicker PJs might be like a good option. So I did justify that when purchasing these, but I thought they were just so cute. So this is the newborn size. And then this is the zero to three months. So hopefully baby can get good use out of these, um, especially because I bought multiple sizes. And then I also got it in this green which i'm more of a green than a blue for my baby in particular so i like anything that's green i'm like completely drawn to but this is green with baby zebras so cute these ones don't have the the feature that goes around the baby's hands it's just like a regular sleeve so if that's what you prefer these ones offer it but look how cute that is this is in the newborn size no this is actually zero to three months so cute and then i also just got no patterns so once i look like this and these just feel good qualities good quality these ones i haven't washed yet obviously the tags are still on it hopefully they don't shrink but now that i'm like touching everything and you know feeling the quality the banana republic ones are definitely really nice so yes a little bit more pricey but they are so cute so very 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 happy about these ones okay next we're going to touch on more boutique brands just because i stumbled upon a lot of different sites either on instagram or just from like being targeted with so many ads of baby stuff and i found this brand called mebby baby now they are not expensive and they're also not such like a huge site with a ton of inventory so if you want to take a browse through i would highly recommend but i did pick up two of their onesies and i got them both in the newborn size just in case baby is you know under seven pounds and need something snug to wear back home from the hospital so i got my two favorite colors i got one in this like nude and then i got one in this army green 
as you can see very similar to the gap baby in old navy it has this little button feature and then it has the double zip and then it's footed and then it has that feature too so more or less gap baby would probably be what i would recommend just because these are in my opinion like just as good or gap baby i should say is just as good as these ones but i can tell you the price for these so these are the organic cotton rib zipper newborn up to seven pounds onesie and the price for these i believe was around 25 dollars if you're familiar with kite baby um kite baby is like really expensive onesies i believe they're closer to 40. these ones i would say compare um i don't have any of the kite babies onesies but i have felt them before on different babies so I would say that these compare these were just like the colors that i opt for and when mebby baby men when mebby baby is that how you say it yeah when i saw them on mebby baby i was like hmm i'll give them a try but the reason that i placed the order is because they had the cutest beanies so i am just like obsessed with hats obviously it's a winter baby like i said so hats are an essential and i thought that this hat was so cute just because of the color like i would personally wear this if they had it in my size so i got this to wear with the onesie or this one even which is so cute and then obviously you can wear this beanie with like all the other onesies that I showed too because it's a neutral so maybe baby has some really cute things and honestly a cute gift idea because it's like you know a little cute niche brand I don't know where they're based out of but they did have some cute items so definitely check them out and those are the three items that I prop next we're gonna do Zara Zara obviously has like the cutest baby clothes they just are like averagely priced I would say um, some things are a little bit more pricey than others because of the quality and the material but zara is like not inexpensive but definitely not so expensive compared to like the other baby brands and zara doesn't really go on sale so i haven't really bought much however i did find this set and i thought it was so cute so as you can see it is just these little pants right here and it came with or actually it did not come with it was a fully separate item but this little matching top this has such a soft texture to it i believe the name of the the fabric is like soft touch or something like that that's what the website said so i got this little shirt with matching pants size one to three months and these are so cute 17 dollars for the top and $15 for the pants and I was thinking that I can have these pants be reworn obviously with other things and then again with this but obviously together with a cute little beanie I thought it was so cute so I did justify making the purchase but yes this is what I got from Zara next from Zara is actually the cutest thing ever I think this was the first thing that I purchased for baby because it came out in the summertime and I believe it was from last season so it was on sale but it's like this Sherpa onesie which I am expecting to be dressing my baby up a lot in just because I live in the city we don't drive anytime we go outside even if it's for like five minutes the baby needs to be bundled so I picked this up in this ivory color which is so cute this is another sherpa material um so soft it has a cute little hood with little ears on it so cute the baby can literally be wearing his pjs under this and then you put this on top and then you can like go run your errands or like go on a walk or anything like that doctor's appointments things like that it's a zippered which i like i feel like that's just easiest and this is so cute i don't know i don't know if i'm just like like falling for the aesthetic or if this is very practical i believe for my lifestyle this will be practical this also wasn't too expensive i believe i got it for around 40 dollars so really really cute and yeah zara definitely has some really cute baby clothes so i would highly recommend checking them out too next for baby clothes i actually took a few browses at the carter's website i believe it's like oshkosh baby or something like that but carter's is the website that i shopped on they have a bunch of baby stuff on that website it's like one of those sites that's a little bit overwhelming but i did just like do a few browses through the site just to see if there was anything that was well priced and cute and i did find a few things um this is the footed onesies that the carter website offered this is in the newborn size and as you can tell it's not in that waffle ribbed material like the other ones were it's in well i guess this is waffle but 
I don't know, this one just feels a little bit more rough. The blue is obviously very different than the Gap Babies or the Old Navy. And they didn't really offer any other like shades or tones of blue. So I opted for this one. Not my favorite, but it is cute. And I believe these were really well priced too. I don't know the original price, but I think I have the discounted price. So let me just check. Okay, so I don't remember the price of this, but I'll have it linked down below. I know they sell this brand on Target as well, so if you do like shop on Target and they have deals, definitely check it out. But this is the onesie that I got. Like I said, not my favorite, but they are a cute option. They might have cuter colors now, maybe for spring or maybe like the girl section is a little bit cuter, but I'm excited to try these yet. I know this was really inexpensive, so this will be good for when I guess the other ones are dirty and I didn't do laundry, so yes. This is the onesie that I got from Carter's and this is the Little Planet Organic by Carter's because I believe they carry like different brands or designers or whatever. So that is the first thing that I got. Next thing I got is really cute. It just looks super tiny. Um, I got again from the Carter website this little jumpsuit which I know isn't so practical because it's buttoned up here as well and there's no zipper feature but i thought this would be this would be cute for like a photo or the coming home outfit it just in my opinion looks so small compared to all the other newborn sizes that i've been buying so i guess it's good to have just in case baby does fit into this but this little jumpsuit with a matching hat came together as a set if this is a really cute color i obviously love grays and browns and nudes and things like that so this is really cute i believe this was under 20 dollars as well i don't remember the price but i will have it linked below and yes this was very very cute sizing is a little bit weird but nonetheless i think it is so adorable so lastly from oshkosh is another set this one i got for three months so it's a little bit bigger but it's basically this light heather gray cardigan with matching pants i do think this came as a set and i thought this would be useful because obviously i can wear the pants with other things like i can wear these pants with that knit sweater from old navy that i showed before or i can wear it with other things obviously so really good to have just like neutral knit pants and then the cardigan obviously is so cute too to wear together it's buttoned up you would just put like one of those little onesies underneath it so the baby's warm and yeah this is really cute size three months but i guess we'll see how my baby is sizing once he's born but this is really cute so yes carter's does have some like cute finds you just really need to like dig through the website to find them so yes happy about this purchase okay we're gonna step away from the clothing for a little bit and we're gonna talk about accessories like blankets shoes things like that and the first blanket that I got is actually from Amazon and it is so cute. So obviously it's in my favorite color and it's this like muslin, I believe that's the term that people use, material and it's like a perfect size to wrap the baby around. I'm planning on bringing this to the hospital and having baby wrapped in this for a photo. But let me tell you what I spent on this. These are the Concy Waffle Baby Blankets. Concy is the name of the brand. Like I said, they're from Amazon. They come in a bunch of colors, a lot of neutrals, and like the blues and greens and colors that they do are like in a toned down version of it. So they're like really aesthetic, almost like a pastel, which is personally my vibe. And they were $20. So. I got it in the oak color and then I also got it in like a deeper mocha brown just because I feel like having dark colors for a baby especially with like spit up and accidents and things like that is just necessary so yes I kept this one in the box because I wanted to show you in case you were like looking for a gift idea sorry I'm trying to get the glare yeah okay that'll work in case you were looking for a gift idea to give an expecting mom or anything like that the box is really cute so i kept this one in the box these blankets are really cozy they're really like aesthetic they match the apartment um they're gonna match my baby's clothes so highly recommend i know blankets are like such a like a whatever thing like oh it's just a baby blanket but they're gonna be used a lot from what i've been told i use blankets a lot it's gonna be you know freezing cold out in january so we're gonna be using these blankets a ton so i highly recommend the amazon ones because they're inexpensive and they are so dang cute next items i'm really proud of because they're unnecessary but i got them so discounted that i'm like wow i'm actually like so good at this because they were like so well priced so anyways i got my baby ugs 
I know, so over the top and unnecessary, but if you were to like see these in person, you would literally cry, they are so cute. Anyways, I got these like Sherpa little baby Uggs. I believe these are unisex, they're in the white color. They have the Ugg right there. They're obviously not real shoes, they're crib shoes, but they are gonna keep baby warm and they're gonna be just like part of the outfit. So I got this from the actual Ugg website, I believe, when Ugg was having a sale. And I believe normally they're $40 and I got it for like half off. So $20 for a pair of baby slippers. I was able to justify it because it was so dang cute. But yes, this is the first pair of Uggs that I got. Next pair are these. I'm actually so proud of these. I was on Nordstrom Rack just like browsing through things for myself. And then I was like, oh, let me check out the baby section. So I did. And these were on sale for like $11. And I believe originally they're like $40. So... I probably wouldn't have bought these if they were original price because I got the other Uggs, but for $11, I was like literally a pack of socks or like the same price and these are just so cute. So I picked these up. They have the little Ugg at the back and then obviously the brown and then like the Sherpa white match with like the baby's aesthetic. I sound like a lunatic, but <laughs> they match the baby's clothes. So thought it was so cute. They're crib shoes and they're fully fur for fur lines all over the shoe so it's going to keep the baby warm too so it's it's practical in my opinion so yes these are the uggs that i bought the baby and they are so so cute okay so i'm actually adding pacifiers to this haul i only bought one kind and they're the bibs brand but i bought them in colors that kind of just go with the baby clothing i know that that's so not important but I do appreciate a brand that puts out a color scheme or multiple color schemes to like fit different mom's vibes or different baby vibes and things like that. So I really do appreciate Bibs making literally the cutest pacifier. So I got a bunch. I got green, the navy blue, obviously, because I've been showing you a lot of navy blue and greens. We got a dark green and then my favorite color, like an oat. Um, and then we got a gray because neutral. And then I believe this came in a pack, but the baby blue, because this is just like a classic baby boy color. So I got all of these pacifiers off of Target, I believe, but they got, they're sold on Amazon. You can get them on the actual Bibs website and yeah, really cute gift idea too. If you like know anyone expecting a baby who like really cares about the aesthetic, Bibs has really cute pacifiers. So bought these and we'll see if baby likes them but yeah they are very cute okay last but not least for this haul is my favorite i would say out of everything totally unnecessary and probably the most expensive things that i bought for the baby but they were just so cute and um if you're not going to spoil your baby who will so i bought these items from a website called smallable now smallable is like a revolve i would say they just carry a bunch of brands not just baby they do home stuff women's wear men's wear things like that and i believe they're outsourced in europe in paris i should say so the shipping cost to the us wasn't anything crazy um i don't think there was any like duty taxes or anything like that but i found this brand called zoe and tobaya and they make the cutest most aesthetically looking baby outerwear i have ever seen i was literally in awe when i saw these items so this is what i got off of the website look how dang cute these things are a little backstory i was looking for really different and unique pieces for baby on like etsy amazon i was even on like aliexpress just to like you know like not shop at the same basic brands that everybody else is shopping so when i found these i was like this is exactly what i was talking about now these are over a hundred dollars each however on black friday or yes it must have been black friday smallable was having a really good sale on a lot of their baby items so i actually got both pieces for around fifty dollars which in my opinion is a steal. These are just like outerwear pieces that you would put over the baby's clothes. So it's practical in my case, living in the city, needing to layer up the baby. And it is so, so, so cute. The brand Zoe and Tobaya, I believe, has the cutest stuff. So highly recommend checking them out. Definitely only buy things on sale because it's like ridiculously expensive, but so cute i got it in this like beige color this is the newborn size and then 
this gray one so cute and this is in zero to three months so a little bit bigger and then i was thinking that i can save it for future babies i can let friends borrow it if they have a winter baby and then even if i have a girl i feel like i could still utilize these pieces so smallable is definitely a website that i'm like constantly checking now because they have the cutest things and like i said they have really good sales so yes a little bit unnecessary but in my opinion very cute and i am so excited to just like dress baby up in that and i will let you know how practical it is so that is pretty much everything I have for the baby right now. I still have, I think, about two weeks until my due date. So hopefully that gives me enough time to like get last minute things for baby. But for the most part, I think we're settled just with like the bare necessities. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I was able to explain the pieces and the pricings and like getting the links and everything correct down below, just cause I wanna be as helpful to anyone watching this as I can, just cause I was watching these videos when purchasing things for my baby. So I hope that this video came in handy and I really do thank you for watching it, for clicking on my channel and everything like that. Check out my Instagram. Hopefully you'll get to see these little pieces styled on baby eventually. And yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video.